Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to show you what you can do with 500 mealworms. A few months ago, back in June, I started out with about 500 mealworms and it is now almost mid-September. This is how many mealworms that I have grown my colony to. It's pretty crazy, but if you stick with it, you can definitely grow a lot of mealworms out of just 500, even 250, but um, it's definitely pretty awesome to see how many you can breed. But if you just look into here, I got some potatoes and different, here's a sift right here. But uh, if you can see real well, there's just a ton of mealworms everywhere. Um, I mean, if you just sift through this, there are literally more mealworms than there are substrate. If I had to guess, honestly, I would say there's over 5,000. I may be underestimating, honestly, but there, there's at least 5,000, um, if not 10,000 for all I know. I, I really can't put a number on it, but these guys are getting nice and fat because I've been feeding them some red potatoes, which have actually been growing them quicker um i don't i don't know why the red potatoes have been working so well but that's another tip if you want to grow your mealworms fast use the red potatoes because i've used the russets and a few other ones and uh they were nothing compared to how good they've been growing now but i mean if you just look i'll take my sift here just to show you and I just take one scoop and there's probably anywhere from a thousand to five hundred mealworms just in that sift. So it definitely can be done. Um, if you have any questions about how to raise your mealworms, just let me know and I'll do my best to try to answer them. But this is just really good because I have plenty of worms I can feed my animals. There's some dead ones. I get a lot of questions about why I remove the dead worms from super worm bins or mealworm bins. And the truth is, is that if you leave the dead ones in there, you'll get to all sorts of problems with different gnats and mites and fruit flies, whatever it is, you'll get all sorts of problems. There's these flesh eating gnats that aren't really harmful to anything. They sound worse than they really are. But if you leave dead worms in there, then it attracts them for some reason and it can just get flies all over your house. Just You don't want that. So if you see any black worms, definitely remove them because it will save you a world from a world of trouble dealing with different mites and um, gnats. So that's why I separate the dead worms. And also if your reptile eats them, it's just like we are if we eat undercooked food or old food our stomachs get upset we get sick reptiles can do the same thing it's not good to feed them just old worms but what i'm going to have to do is since these guys are pretty much um just sitting in frass i'm going to have to sift them out and put some new bedding inside of here but i just wanted to show you what 500 mealworms three months ago is now turned into this which is pretty awesome. I would definitely recommend trying to breed for your own feeder insects. But if you guys like this video, let me know. Please subscribe if you are new and check out my social media links. I appreciate every single one of you and I hope you all have an amazing day.